everyone, welcome to the Joel Hand Show, where today, you know what we do, we eat extra special food, extra special restaurants, often way too much, and here I am super, super excited, we're here at Maddie's Hot Chicken, that is right. So, here in front of me, I not only have 16 pieces, 16 freaking pieces of Nashville hot chicken, delicious flavors, guys, I, it smells good, it looks good, it's so crispy, so juicy, I love that Nashville. I have some lovely chicken sandwiches. I have a hot honey chicken sandwich, then I have a huge double chicken sandwich, which we call them the Big Mat. We then have some of their lovely coleslaw, Tennessee style slaw, we got a lovely potato salad, I have some of their lovely creamy crisp donuts, house made hand dipped donuts, looks delicious. Then we have a lovely, lovely, lovely looking Nashville hot chicken and waffles. And with this Nashville Hot Chicken Waffles, I have the Damn Hot. So there's a couple different flavors. We've got Mild, Hot, Damn Hot, and then Hot AF. This is Damn Hot. I bet it's gonna be good though. So I got some buttermilk sauces. We got some house-made pickles. There's just so much good food, a delicious looking food here. I can't wait to dive into this. So the absolute world's biggest, that's right, world's biggest, Nashville Hot Chicken Challenge we got going on right here. So. Let's get started, looks absolutely delicious. I'm here in Hamilton, they're doing a pop-up, then they're gonna have a permanent location here, and they have a permanent location, or operating out of the kitchen at least, in uh, St. Catharines as well. So, that's about it. I don't think there's anything else to do it but to do it. So let's dive on in, let's eat some good food. So one of these is mild, one tray is mild, one is the hot, I'm not sure which is which, but I'll just grab a lovely looking piece of chicken right here. Just look at that. And let's give it a try. That is so good. Mm. Oh my god. It's crispy, it's crunchy. Nice little bit of heat. Nice little sweetness from that brown sugar in there. Mm. And tender. Oh, it's so tender. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That is amazing. Fantastic chicken. Fantastic. A little buttermilk sauce here. A little dip. Mm. That's a nice level of creaminess, kind of richness. The chicken itself is also a buttermilk chicken. Mm. Just look at that beautiful, beautiful chicken. Have some hot sauce here too. That's a good hot sauce. Okay. Move the donuts that way and get some crumbs on them. Mm. Damn, that's good though. Absolutely fantastic. Lovely size pieces as well. This hot sauce though is damn tasty. I got a lot. Oh 
might as well be kind of like Louisiana style. What's our love? House made pickles. A little bit like a clove to it. Really nice. Uh, a little bit like uh, kind of, kind of, eh, slightly acidic pickle. Not overly sweet. Definitely not overly acidic. Mm. This chicken. So tender and juicy. be all dyed red, that's for sure. Buttermilk sauce kind of resembles a ranch a little bit. Definitely got some dill in there. Some other very lovely flavors. Loving that hot sauce though. Oh, that lovely chicken. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just absolutely insane how tender, moist, and juicy. My chicken really is. Pickles. Look guys, we can fit almost everything in frame now. Woo! That was lovely. Love that chicken. Try some of this slaw. Got some mustard in it, a little bit of celery seed. Which is a lovely flavor. Nice zip from that vinegar. This just makes you feel like home, country, kitchen. Reminiscence of your grandma in the South. All right. Very good though. Lovely crunch on that too. Right. Let's go over this letter of the hot chicken. So this would be the hot, the spicy, spicy ones. Okay, a bit more heat. Get a little bit more burn around the mouth. Lots of nice brown sugar flavors. But not an uncomfortable level of heat. Not too many dipping it in the hot sauce. Just beautifully tender soft chicken. Spice is really enjoyable. Super palatable. If you're not familiar with what makes a Nashville hot chicken, Nashville hot chicken, not just any other chicken. It's a beautiful fried chicken. And they're actually dipping it in an oil. An oil base, which is like oil based hot spice and sauce which helps keep the crispiness, because oil on oil, so like oil and water.
but yeah. Beautiful, beautiful chicken. It's so flavorful and so juicy. Uh, you really don't need anything else to eat it with. No. You don't need any sauces or anything on fire. But, I really love this hot sauce here. It's damn good. That's what we like. It's all boneless chicken. You don't gotta worry about bones. You can just dive right in and eat it. It's a really great job all that batter. Crazy how like how much they're able to put on that chicken. Beautiful. I myself am not so skilled at making fried chicken. But you can check out my Only Pans episode. Yes, I said Only Pans. My own unique cooking show where I made fried chicken. I admit, this is a lot better. Pickles are a really nice way to help cut some of that oil, some of that richness you get from that beautiful fried chicken. Beautiful. Beautiful fried chicken. Woo wee! Alright, well, that was a lovely Just the same piece of natural hot. Well, so he's definitely building a bit. Whew. But it's very good. Alright, so now we're down to, of course, our lovely looking donuts. Can't wait to get into those. Heard they're fantastic. Our chicken sandwiches. The damn hot. Chicken and waffles, which looks very, very good. Three waffles, lovely, huge piece of chicken, and a hot honey on it as well. And then some potato salad. So let's try some of this potato salad. Excuse me. Ooh. I can just like, it just smells so homey. Mm. Chive, onions, potatoes. Very mild potato salad. It's good level of richness. Definitely not like overly salty or anything like that. If you're going from a for a lot, like from a lot of that kind of hot chicken, specifically 16 pieces of it, this is a nice way to rest your palate for a second. Not bad. So on this big mat here, the sandwich. So there's a pimento cheese sauce with jalapenos, pickles, lettuce, bacon, and two pieces of fried chicken. This thing is huge. This is not even like a one bite sandwich. This is like a two bite sandwich, but let's see what we can do. Mm. Holy crap. Okay, big bite. Got some matty sauce in there too. We get that smoky cured flavor from that bacon. Lovely freshness and crunch from that sauce, from that pickles and lettuce that's the crunch that sauce is really like refreshing I'm 
starting to get some of the more like pimento cheese, jalapenos. Definitely adding another layer, level like layer of um, just creaminess, mouthfeel. Really nice though, this is definitely a change. There's uh, really no heat on this compared to some of the other things we've had. Which is what it's supposed to be like. This is more like the traditional fried chicken sandwich. Whereas it's technically the only chicken on this uh, that we've seen that is not like a Nashville hot, like it's not like a dipped. More just like a giant fried chicken sandwich. Okay, that's definitely a big sandwich. Nice one though, very, very nice. But Big Matt lives up to his name, I approve. All right, next, got some hot honey, which looks like a delicious chicken. This one's one with the jalapenos on it. And then this one, I got a coleslaw. So I'm not sure how spicy this one will be. This could be pretty spicy. So let's give this one a go. But it looks very, very nice. Very aesthetic looking sandwich. I'm excited for the hot honey. Hot honey is really cool. If you've never had hot honey, it's like chili infused honey. Sweet, spicy. How can you go wrong? Ugh, excuse me. I had to burp. So cheers. Mm. Mm. Okay. Woo. Lovely tiny taste, that sweetness. Mixed with that cold slaw, that slaw. A little mustard in there, like that celery seed flavor. It's a really nice pairing with the honey. So you're getting almost like... Kind of like a honey mustard. Just a little bit of heat to it. It's definitely very unique how the honey and the coleslaw complement each other. Definitely not what I would expect it. Also the dynamic that pickled jalapeno in there. The three of those. That is a very interesting three-way combination. Yeah, those are definitely some impressive sandwiches. <clears throat> very big, very, very big. And that's a lot of food, that's for sure. All right, we're drinking donuts, chicken and waffles. Whew, let me get rid of this. Okay, so. Chicken and waffles, which may be too hot for me to even eat. They did say damn hot. And then some lovely donuts. I love donuts. These look delicious. I saw them actually hand dipping them, which is super cool. So for the chicken and waffles, hot honey on them, house made waffles, very buttery. There's no shortage of butter on them. I'll put it I saw them. I saw them. I saw them dip them in butter, literally dip them. All right, I'm a little worried for this hot chicken, though, because I said this is damn hot. 
anything that has a layer of dam in it, I gotta be a little querying of. But let's give it a go. Definitely really dark, very that real red Nashville color flavor. Uh, you know what I'll do here? Let's grab a bite with one of these lovely buttered waffles. Let's try, let's, if this is butter, you'll probably really dull the. Mm. Very buttery. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. Yeah, there's a bit of heat to that. I don't want to jinx it. I don't think there's as much. Oh, no. Okay. No, that heat's really kicking it now. Okay, that's just a piece of batter. Whew. Yeah, okay, that's pretty, that's pretty damn hot. Damn hot. Approaching this one with a lot of caution. Because the heat is continually building. And it's pretty damn hot. But in regards to the chicken and waffle aspect, it's a good waffle. Now this doesn't normally come with the damn hot hot Nashville style sauce or dip or rub, whatever you want to call it. I picked that. That is damn hot. Well, there's a nice little bit of sweetness. Only with the waffle, with the hot honey. I'm not going to lie. I'm burning. It's pretty damn hot. I'll put it that way. Woo! I do like spice, but eating spice with this much food, oh, sometimes doesn't agree with my stomach all that well. So, that's very, very hot. Might be able to finish it. Ooh. Woo. Oh, that's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. You got that mouth burning, got my, like, around my lips burning, my, my throat's burning, my tongue's burning. It is a definitely a hot one. Oh, that is, all the batter just came out. All right, well, if all the batter just come out, I guess I have no excuse not to eat it now, but. Still very good. Just hot. The waffle does help dull a little bit of the heat and stuff. That's how buttery it is. Why is it hot? That's some hot chicken. If that's the damn hot, I would hate to know what the hot AF, how hot that is. Ugh. I think like, like I just had that on a sandwich, which had like a damn hot Nashville, like chicken sandwich. It'd be really, really good. I think I got some nice coleslaw with it or even just 
use this uh, this ranch, or like not the the, uh, the buttermilk dressing, or did eat you know 20 pieces of other fried chicken before. I think it'd be a lot uh, let's say easier on the palate. I'm only finding it harder now because I ate so much spice. But they're damn hot. They're really satisfying that. So y'all who like the heat, chilies, a spiciness, this is definitely one for you. Like I said, I'd be very curious to see what the hot AF is like. This is the damn hot. Ooh. Still hot. Still damn hot. Live up to his name. Okay, so I ate all the chicken. This is just a piece of batter. So I'm not gonna eat that. It's good, but it's damn hot, as the name says. And the waffles are really good, though. The waffles are actually... They're surprising, though. Sweet, buttery. It tastes really good when you mix it with the chicken and the waffle together. Oh. Okay. Ooh, that is still spicy. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Ooh. All right. I might have a little more of this waffle. It's really damn good. And we're going to these donuts. Which also look really damn good. And I've heard are really damn good. All right, last but definitely not least, the Creamy Crisps. I swear, they definitely came up with that name themselves and definitely not uh, not related to any other brand out there. But no, this looks delicious in all seriousness. Like I said, guys, literally, handmade donuts, hand-dipped. I do love donuts. I haven't had a donut in a while, so cheers to all y'all donut lovers. As we have a Creamy Crisp. Oh. Dang, nabbit. Mm. That is a good donut. Whoa. Okay, how do I describe this? That is so light, so fluffy, so airy. The glaze adds just a lovely level of sweetness. Should I say? Got a creamy crisp. Really does taste like a Krispy Kreme. Like a hot wine fresh Krispy Kreme. That's beautiful. Again, not that I'm sure they're going for that at all with the name like Creamy Crisp, but mmm. That's a good donut. I'm impressed. Man, so light, fluffy, and airy. Kind of like, I don't know what the best way to say this. But. Well, that was that. Well, yeah, very, very good. They're a good size, too. They're not massive. Like a perfect couple bite donut. Or I mean you could probably <coughs> Woo! Excuse me. Water does not belong down your windpipe. Or you could probably one bite them if you got a big mouth. Mm. Alright, that's funny. A little bit of hot sauce drip on that donut. When I was eating earlier, it's actually really good. Maybe we'll start something new. Try dipping that hot sauce. That's pretty damn awesome. Very good. Like, very, very good.
still super impressed how soft and airy those donuts are. Even after 10. I'm gonna grab my phone. I wanna take a video of me eat one of these. I think they said he went through like through like 50 dozen of these a day or something, maybe a hundred dozen. I see why. It's virtually a Krispy Kreme. But it's a Krispy Kreme. But I guess it's just a uh, softness is so impressive. The flavor is beautiful. Perfect amount of glaze and sweetness. A good donut. It's hard to grow a fried dough. But there you go. It's not that. It's pretty much it. So Maddie's hot chicken. Absolutely loved it. Very, very good food. Chicken is fantastic. Seriously, that like just a straight Nashville hot, the hot chicken. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I think my level is the hot. I like the preferred hot. It was gave a nice bit of heat, gave you that lovely mouth feel, that warmth, that little bit of burn. It didn't have the when it went to the damn hot. It was a little too, a little too much, or a little too building. At least after having as many pieces as I did, whereas the hot was great and the mild, you know, it was good. It's very flavorful. Love the spices. You're still getting that lovely like paprika, brown sugar, getting all those flavors you would expect just with a little bit of heat. So for me, the hot is definitely my level of hotness. Heat, I guess you could say. Mm. The sandwiches were fantastic. I really liked the donuts as well. That slaw was great. I have nothing bad to say. Very, very impressive. Even the chicken, uh, chicken waffles too. Very, very good. Waffles were great, really nice and buttery. That is like a dining option would be absolutely fantastic. And it's a good portion. You know, two huge pieces of chicken. Also, you know, three waffles. But everybody, huge thanks to Maddie's for having me here. Really enjoyed it, of course. Be sure to check out Maddie's yourself. Um, yeah, that's about it. You know, like I said, so right now, Hamilton, they were doing a pop-up. Then they're gonna transition into a full store. They got a full location coming, which is gonna be super exciting. I definitely have to be back for some delicious fried chicken. And then they have, uh, out of, in St. Catharines there, they have the Maddie's operating. So definitely check out Maddie's Hot Chicken, would recommend. And that everybody, until next time, of course, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Don't do what I do, of course, but get yourselves good food. And that, that's about it. So, till next time, everybody. Have a lovely day. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.